Am I a food? No. Am I bigger than a microwave? Uh, yes. Can I, can you sit on me? Yes, I can, and I have before. Uh, okay, um... Okay, so I'm not a food. I'm bigger than a microwave. You can sit on me. Am I outside? Yes. Okay. Sometimes. Am I a merry-go-round? No. Am I a swing? Yes. So we, we play this game of headbands with the kids, and the kids love it, right? It's fun. And the idea of the game is that during the game, you have to try to figure out what's on your head. You don't know what's on your head, but everybody else in the room does. And you have to ask, and they give clues as to what it is. You know, as Christians, people should be able to read us like that card on the headband and know who we are by what we present them. That's right. Hi, I'm Shauna, and this is my husband, Pete, and we're Golly Family Discipleship. Both of us are ordained ministers of the Church of God, and we disciple our family simply by reading the Word of God, uh, discussing that, and applying it to our lives daily. So that's what we do with social media. We just invite you into our home and say, hey, come study the Bible with us. When you see it here, we've already discussed it as a family. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to read Philippians chapter 4, verses 5, 6, and 7, and we are going to start with our discussion. And it says, Let your gentleness be evidence to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So, as a Christian, we're walking around this world with a car on our head. You see my swing, right? And people look at us, and they ought to be able to look at us and say, that person is a Christian. Because when they look at us, what do they see? First off, they see, they want to see gentleness. gentleness, right? So we're meek. We're not uh, angry. We're not hateful. We're not hard to approach. Uh, we're someone who they want to have a conversation with, someone who they want to be around, right? So we have that gentleness it's about us. It's evidence of love, yeah. And, and we wear it on us. You know, when they look at us, they're like, Pete has gentleness. Just like you look at the card in my head, and I am a... Swing. Yes, I'm a swing. <laughs> and then the scripture goes on and it says not to be anxious about anything. You know, um, in commentary in my uh, study Bible, it talks about that anxiety is something of selfishness. Um, it And I've never really thought about it that way, but um, it is something that we, uh, we normally get anxious about things that are temporary. Mm -hmm. You know, can we pay that bill? Or do they like me? Or am I going to get... Uh, this done on time or will they be pleased with what I've cooked or I mean just just these well, temporary personal things and uh, we want to be a people who are presented that are not anxious about these things but what we are concerned about is eternal things and the salvation of others right so when they see you what do they see you wearing are you anxious or are you calm are you cool? Are you trusting in the Lord for the answer? Right. Uh, what, what are you wearing? What are, are you, you presenting praying? to the world? Right. Are you giving thanks to God? Right. And, yeah. And then it goes on and says those things. Are you a person of prayer? Right. Are you seeking God for the answer? Or are you worried about the answer? Mm -hmm. Right. Because once we put something in God's hands, it's his. And we let him have it. Uh, are are you, you thankful for what you have? Or are you mm -hmm. constantly complaining about... Not just about, one time a year when right. you go around the table. And Mikey, yeah. Mikey makes us tell what we're thankful for yeah. on Thanksgiving but every day. Do we have a grateful mindset? You know, we talked about yesterday rejoicing in the Lord and having that cheerful mindset, that grateful mindset, that mindset of, okay, I am a child of God and I believe everything in his word and he is going to take care of me. Right, and then it goes on in verse 7, and it says that the peace of God will be upon you. Do you know, uh, Shauna did a good job with the illustration about rejoicing when everything around you is falling apart. When you're sitting in the seat of turmoil, you still rejoice in the Lord. You know what? We can have peace when the, the boat's sinking around us, when the walls are falling down, when it looks like uh, everything that we've got has been lost. We can have peace in knowing that Jesus is our Lord and Savior and that we're taken care of. Yeah. And that our reward is not in this life, but in the life to come. And no matter what happens, we have understanding that we're taken care of. You know, uh, one, of the, uh, one of the most profound things that you will ever get to witness is someone that you love 
who is a champion of Christ, who is a servant of Christ, a child of God, and they are passing away. And um, they have a mm -hmm. peace that you just cannot comprehend, a peace that you just don't understand. It's happened to us a few times. And they, many times they, they say they want to go home. Mm -hmm. And they have yeah. that peace yeah. and that desire for an eternal peace mm -hmm. uh, that you just can't feel here on earth. And it says that peace will guard our hearts and our minds in Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So look, we're going to close. What are you showing the world, right? When you walk around and they look at you and they, they see the invisible headband, what are you presenting? Hopefully you're presenting the things that the Apostle Paul told us today because that's what a Christian should present. So going forward, there's four things a disciple of Jesus Christ does every day. That's exalt God, encounter God, edify yourself by reading the Word of God, and engage this world for Jesus Christ. Until next time, God bless you.